The muddier, the better. Thomas College held its fifth annual Dirty Dog Mud Run this morning, and by the time each runner crossed the finish line, most were covered head to toe in mud. But one family is facing more obstacles than the ones on the course. New Center Samantha Sugarman shares their story. There we go. The splish splash of sneakers in the mud. <laughs> on all fours like a dog to get through this obstacle course. It must be the dirty dog mud run. We are about to put the mud in mud run. Here we go. Hardy Cummings ran the first mud run in 2015 with his daughter, Haley Cummings. Her and I started it together, and uh, every year I continue to do this with all my friends and family that join us. Including her cousin, Tucker Cummings. This year there's a lot more mud, a lot warmer, and it was beautiful out there. When the sun's shining and Haley's shining down, she's here with us. Haley died in the fall of 2015, killed in an ATV crash. She was 18 years old. Three, two. Two, one, go. Now they run in her honor. She always said no excuses, and halfway through the race, I was I was just repeating it in my head because I felt like I'm like halfway through. I'm like I don't know if I can carry, go on with this, and I just kept repeating myself no excuses, no excuses, and I just gave her hell. Her dad admits the past five years without her have been difficult for the family. It's been a, a rough time for everyone in the family. This event helps though to keep her alive. Run this race in her honor and which in hopes I can do this the rest of my life in honor of Haley. In Waterville, Samantha Sugarman, New Center, Maine.